Hello and welcome to episode 34 of my playthrough of Feed the Beasts Plexiglass Mountain. Uh, this episode, we're going to deal with problems. We have, we have issues uh, going on in our base. As you can see here with our little chemical oxidizer and stuff, it, none of this system is running anymore. Um, so we actually went through and used up all the salt that we gathered, all 10,000 items of it that we had. And that only netted us about 300 plexiglass. So we can make some solar panels now. We can make a couple of these. I can probably make at least one of these things now. I can't even make one of the reinforced version. Um, so we do not have nearly enough plexiglass then to actually do anything that we wanted to. Um, that's kind of lame. So what we need to do this episode, I think, is actually make this a bit better. We're not going to use this system at all. All, all of this, the, all this that we spent here setting up the um, this chain here for the salt, uh, not sustainable. I, d I discovered. Um, so we need to get sodium another way. So if we look here, molten plexiglass, alloying it with li liquid sodium. Uh, a couple of different ways we can get it. Right, we can do it by the deconcentrating of sodium, which we got by going through the electrolytic separator and stuff of. Um, what was it, brine, and then we got brine from gaseous brine, which came from salt. Um, we're going to do this a different way. We are just going to do it from brine itself, and we can actually get brine by using a thermal evaporation unit, I think it's called. I don't know what the actual multi-block is called, um, but it's a big old multi-block that we can form. It uses temperature, or just like, I think it use, just uses pretty much ambient temp to turn water into brine. So I think we're going to do that. I think that's a better way of doing it. And then that means we can build everything up, um, up outside. And then that means we're probably just going to use that to eliminate, oh, of course it's nighttime. Every time I go to record, it's nighttime. We can use that to eliminate the need for the smeltery because we may as well just build another refinery at that point and do it all like that. So what we're going to do, if that's going to be the case, is I need to fly back down. We need to go to the basement. And we need to pull out everything that we have sitting inside of the smeltery because this is now going to be useless to us. So let's pull that out. I'm just going to right click it there. This will drain out over time. Uh, it'll take a while, but that's fine. I can then pretty much go single block this. Doesn't need to be here anymore, so neither does that. The fluids... Um, Thing can just get deleted the channel under tesseract because that's no longer going to be needed uh, we can get rid of that that's all fine and we need to build up a thermal evaporation thingy a thermal evaporation plant here we go i've got the wiki pulled up on on a separate monitor right so we're going to need a bunch of blocks right um, i think we may as well go with the there's there is like an advanced version that you can make that requires um the mechanism solar panels the advanced ones um so we may as well utilize all of that um, just because it'll make life uh, quite a bit easier and we'll be able to generate more brine than what we're using, um, which will probably be how we want to do this. So if that's going to be the case, uh, we need to actually learn how to make advanced solar panels. This bloody keyboard, I keep doing that. Advanced solar. This bad boy. We want to teach you how to make that, which is super easy because it's just, uh, we know how to make all of these minus the regular solar generators, but these we can teach. Uh, we already know how to make energy tablets. Nice. And then it's just the solar panels that we don't know how to make, I think, which are these things. Oh, these take plexiglass as well. Now, these used to not take plexiglass, I thought. I thought we've made, yeah, because we made some of these. Did it, How did we make it before? Um, there must have been a recipe update, um, like in the previous episode as well, because I'm pretty sure we were making advanced solar panels without actually needing to use plexiglass. Well, okay then. Um, we can craft up the four of them because we're going to need four to do what we want to build. Um, we also are going to need a bunch of other blocks. We need some thermal evaporation blocks, a um, thermal evaporation valve, and a controller which are these bad boys here. Um, from what I can tell, I'm pretty sure all of these are easy to build. Yes, yeah, just a red steel. Um, and then you just need an advanced control unit. 
and then this one needs a glass pane. All right, and then these are pretty easy to make. We should just be able to chuck these in and request up a bunch of them. So if we type in now thermal, um, so valves, we probably only want two because we're going to go in when I want one going in and one going out, right? So water in, brine out. So we only need two valves going. Um, cool. So once the weather, you know, take a minute. Oh yeah, because we have to make steel and steel is a bit of a problem because it just takes time. I could probably step that. Oh, I shouldn't. Ah, oh, damn it. I didn't mean to cancel it. Got to be careful when you do that. Um, instead of using this one here to make it, what we could probably do is have like three of them in a row and then just have like a segment each instead of like this one machine making the enriched iron and then making the blend. We can have two machines going and that'll make it a bit faster, but um, I don't think it's a huge, huge deal at the moment. Why are you so slow? Did you not get upgraded? You have no upgrades in you. That's why you're slow. Let's build that while we're here then. That's why that's taking so long. Um, we need, is it eight of each? That and that. That's why it's taking so long. So you may as well just upgrade it while we're here. And that way we won't have to worry about waiting so long. Energy and speed. Cool. Uh, now, anytime that I request things to steal, it shouldn't be too bad. The more. All right, so we have the two valves that we need. I'm going to need one controller at minimum. Actually, no, you only need one of these per thing. Never mind. Cool, so that's that. That crafted up nice and quick. And I've got three of these thermal evaporation blocks. And apparently, we need an extra 33 of these. Um, blocks to make up this machine, this multi-block. So I think we only need another 30 of them. Cool. Now this is asking I make have to make steel. So this might actually take a hot minute. But it is crafting up quite a few of them pretty quickly. Okay. But the upgrades is actually not too painful. That's that's not painful at all. Um that made 35. We have too many. But that should be all the blocks we need. We're also going to need um, some sort of way of generating water. So if, to do that, um, the best thing is just going to be an aqueous accumulator. I think this thing should be plenty fast enough uh, to do what we need it to. So we need that. Uh, we need some sort of fluid pipes. Uh, pipe. Capacity 8,000 millibuckets, pump rate 1,000 millibuckets. Uh, advanced mechanical pipes might be good enough, so let's just teach the system how to make both of these. Oh, I've got no patterns left. Really? I went through a stack of them that quickly? Jesus. Alright, well, I need like a few of them now. Um, so we want basic pipe. Thank you, and then basic pipe into advanced pipe. And that's all we need for now. Uh, we put that into the molecular... Oh, damn it, I already had them. I already had them in there. I just was looking at the wrong recipe. Okay, never mind. Patterns can go back in there. I need pipe. Um, and let's just make, like, a stack of these. Cool. We actually have everything that we need for that, so we can make a stack pretty comfortably. Uh, that's also going to be overkill, but that's fine. So we have that, we have that, and we're also going to need the stuff to make ourselves a extra um, refinery, don't we? And I forget what we needed for that, so I need to grab out my book, which is probably there. Uh, heavy machinery, refinery. Steel scaffolding by eight. I got two, which means I only need another six. 
And that should craft up pretty quickly, hopefully. Yep. Um, cool. I need my fluid pipes. I only need, I think I needed six of these, didn't I? Was it four or was it six? I don't remember. I think it might actually be four. That's fine. It doesn't hurt to have those. Um, I need iron sheet metal. Twelve. Three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I only need another four of these then. Well, that crafted really quickly. Um, cool. And then what else do I need? Redstone engineering block, heavy engineering, light engineering. So I think I need steel plates, copper. Let's grab some copper. Steel plates. Let's make like 10 of you. And then I need iron plates as well. I got 32 of them. Nice. And that should be everything I need to craft up this stuff. Um, and two steel plates is probably enough to make to craft up these things. Um, the last one, the redstone engineering block, I don't remember how to make the. One, two, three, four of you. Um, that was not enough steel then. Is eight going to be enough then? I think it will. Two, three, four. Yeah, okay, that's that's that. Um, heavy. Um, steel sheet metal. Just hover over these. They shouldn't take that long. It should craft up relatively fast once it hammers everything out. Yeah, there we go. Why is that? Okay, there we go. That's four. Um, so I need the light one now. Um, actually, I have two of those already. Do I have heavy ones? I'm gonna be annoyed if I had heavy ones. No, I didn't. And then I need a redstone, which conveniently I have. Cool. And that should be everything I need now. We should be able to build this pretty fast. Um, I just need buckets now of water. I've got one bucket. Nice. Okay, this will be everything. Um, it is becoming night time, so let's sleep and then let's build this out then, I guess. Alright, so we need to do this step, which is uh, making the sodium, the liquid sodium. Does that actually just come from a thing or do I actually have to condense and trade it down? Uh, sodium, right click. Yeah, I think regardless, I need to separate it and then condense and trait. So I need to get my electrolytic separator and a, a condense and trader from downstairs. I think regardless, that's going to be part of the, um, the process here. So I need that. And I need my electrolytic separator. So those two should be everything we need. I think. Oh, let's put some stuff away. Because my inventory is nice and full. Okay. Out. Food. Food, please. Alright, so this is the one that's outputting the um, the acid thing that we need, right? Yeah, the phenolic resin. It's not acid. It keeps calling it acid. So that's outputting that. So we may as well keep this then just going directly with a pipe. Um, like that. Feeding into my other refinery, right? Which will be going... I guess just directly next to it, won't it? Blue is output. Orange would be input then, if that's the case, right? No, orange is output. Blue is input. Okay. So then the next refinery is just going to have to go right next to it, which is one, two, three, four. Um, 
one, two, one, two. It's actually five. Bang. I remember that at least. It's one, two, one, two. Need my heavy and my light. Bang, bang. Uh, redstone control unit goes on the front. And then it's just sheet metal. I only did this yesterday, so I should actually, this is pretty fresh in my mind. Um, bang, cool, that makes that. So now what we should see happen here is I need the acetaldehyde. So what I'm gonna do actually, is just to make sure that this is working, cause I don't trust myself, is I need some sort of plant that will turn into ethanol. So ethanol, I need this one. Uh, potatoes, that, tomatoes work apparently. Berries, apples, sugarcane, sugarcane works. Beetroot, honey makes a ton of it. Um, okay, so I think we're growing sugarcane, right? And probably the tomatoes still. Yeah, I've got a whole thing. Oh, the tomatoes are like nearly back to full anyway, so let's empty that out. And we'll grab the sugarcane. Um, and that will just kind of magnet to me as we run around. Um, really budgy way of doing this, but it'll work. And that means you just go into the input chest. Or you'll use power, you will turn into um, ethanol. The ethanol goes into this thing, which uses the silver plate as a catalyst to turn into the acetaldehyde. Which goes into this thing with the creosote oil. And then we should see it popping out into this guy soon. Do, 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 do. No, because it's orange. I'm stupid. I am silly. I built this wrong. Um, why did I think it was blue? Yeah, that the orange is the output. I'm silly. Hold on. Um, this is all built in the wrong spot then. Do I want to build it? Now the question is, do I want this to be looped or do I make it uh, differently? I think we'll just do a loop. I don't think it's going to hurt. Uh, where are my fluid pipes? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, this is probably going to need to move, but for the time being, I think we can actually build around it to, to build this thing again, which is kind of annoying. I'm not going to lie. That's fine. There, that needs to, oops. That needs to go there, and then we've got this thing. Bang. Cool. Now this is filling up with phenolic resin, which is half of the recipe that we need to make molten plexiglass, right? Then the rest of it is going to be liquid sodium. Uh, which we will work on now, I guess. And we can probably have that input just going into the back. Oh, it has to come in the side here. Okay, that works. Um, okay, so thermal evaporation blocks. This is going to be a three tall multi-block then, if that's the case. So what I'm going to probably need to do here is actually dig out a space. And this is actually a four by four recipe. So we're just going to go one, two, three, four. Oh, not recipe, but build. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, like that. Two, three, bang, like that. Uh, you know what I forgot though, guys? I totally forgot my solar panels and I'm gonna need them. My advanced solar panels. Okay, apparently they don't stack. That's fine, whatever. Cool. And then on this next layer, we're going to do one of the valves goes there. And then this can get pretty much just ringed off. I'm going to do my other valve, which will be my input here. Um, that'll work. And then I'll do my controller, I think, just here in the face. Does that sound like a good idea? If I go there and then we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And cool, we got red particles. This will be working. It tells us there the temperature is whatever that is. Um, but I think if I do each of these guys now, 
um, if they would go into my inventory on the corners like so we should see this max temperature start to climb because it's using like the thermal energy I guess to uh, do this uh, production of stuff so now uh, let's grab in some sort of building block let's just use this for that I guess because oh, nope that broke it somehow that broke it okay so down here I guess that's our thermal mass I guess for how hot it actually makes uh, it is um, but regardless just on this back side over here we need space like that that can go there we'll do an advanced pipe there I need my configurator which is there to go oops nope why are you in wrench mode is that what's happening rotate empty configurate energy slurries pigments gases fluids there we go we want you to be on pull mode from this thing and then you need water on either side of you so you need to go there and then i need another thing of water there and there water should be pumping into it and then we see water's moving in and then that water's turning into brine uh, very quickly this is overkill um holy shit okay cool uh i just need another pipe here then that connects that to that actually no that's not where this is going to go i'm silly because we actually need to turn this into sodium um so actually what we need to do here is actually break this multi-block we need to break all of this none of this is actually where we need it to be uh you didn't stop the water source did you dang it that's kind of annoying i need my um i need building blocks i need inventory space is what i need let's throw some stuff into mine Let's grab my dirt out. And come on. And we need to fill this in. Where's my building gadget? We may as well just use this. We'll just select this and just go build to me and just fill all of this in with dirt. All right. I built this wrong, right? Because we need to turn the brine and stuff into sodium. So we actually need to use these machines again. Um, so, I think the rotary condensator is the one that I can put right next to it, and then we can redo the fluids config uh, when we get to it. So it's going to be eject output to the left, and it would be input right, um, right, and then this one, I guess, the electrolytic separator, will do fluids, clear all of them. Wait, am I doing this wrong, Brian? Yeah, no, this, this will work, right? Because the condensator is... Because the electrolytic separator makes gases. Right, 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 right. I remember, I remember. Um, we need to sleep. This damn rain. Um, okay. So, gases doesn't matter. Gases, we're going to eject. No, it's not fluid, sorry. Uh, gases, we're going to clear. We're going to output... Uh, one of them. I think it's output one is the sodium, right? Um, molten plexiglass from sodium. Condensentrator, we need that one. Yeah, the left one. And then the number two one, which is a gas, goes out the top, and then we'll just chuck that on a, um, into a trash can again, I think. I think that's probably the way we want to do this, unless the chlorine is used for anything else. Um, let's just do that. Chlorine, what are you used for? Right click, sorry. You turn into hydrogen chloride or liquid chlorine. And then you do what? What do you do? Nothing interesting. Yeah, okay, we can just trash it then, I think. It doesn't really matter, I don't think, then. All right, so if that's the case, then now we can build this thing right because then the brine's going to go to get it going to here right it's going to be separated 
the liquid, uh, the rather the sodium gas goes into this thing, which turns into so like the liquid sodium, which will then go into here, and then we have the output there. Right, that'll work. And then the output we can do into casting basins and just like a line of them with some import buses and stuff, I guess, and that can go straight into the into the base. I think that'll be how we want to do this. Cool. All right, it's all working. Um, I'm doing a very bad job ex of explaining how it's going to work, but it'll work. Um, okay, so we're going to go one, two, three, four. Now that other valve can go there then. I need this thing. My controller. Doesn't really matter where this goes. I just want to in a spot where I can see what's happening. I build this wrong. I totally did build this wrong actually. This needs to move over one because it doesn't work like a smeltery. We need to build it on top of it. So like that. And then we'll fold that in with dirt. One, two, three, four. And then we go valve, valve, controller. Um, and then we go there. To one, whoops, to whoop, well, oh, my building skills are not very good apparently. They go there, and then we go that guy, that guy. Did you form? Why are you not forming? Ah, oh, it's because you're on the corner, probably. Let's put you in the middle somewhere then. There we go, now it's working. Now it's working. That goes there, that goes there. Now we should see temperature climbing quite rapidly. Nice, nice. We need pipe goes there. And then you on the side config for fluids need to input from the right. Cool, and then you're gonna be set to pull. And then now we can do the same thing with the aqueous accumulator again. You can go there. Going to need multiple buckets of water, which I should actually be able to do with this. Yeah, by shifting and scrolling, we can turn this into bucket mode. So what I can do now is just like right click up a bunch of water. And this will actually eliminate the need for us to ever have a bucket on us because we can just have this thing full of water. And this holds like 64 buckets or something crazy like that. 64 buckets? Yeah, it'll hold 64 buckets. Now we have uh, near unlimited water. And then just shift, shift right click, that places the water down. Uh, mechanical pipe goes there. You go to pull. You're working, temperature still climbing. You're making a ton of brine. The brine's going from that into this thing. You're making sodium. Uh, side config gases output one to the right and I think you just need to change your gas input there and then your output fluid output to there right um, and now these guys had stored energy from being in my inventory but we can just connect these up with nodes now um, same as we have been using and we'll just go node and node, down, energy, down, energy. Um, you probably need to just side config for energy input on the top. There we go. And then we connect this up to the laser system by going right click, just right click bang. These now have power, you're full of brine, uh, you're making a ton of chlorine. I need my trash can now. And then trash can will be down here somewhere. Yoink. Back up the top we go. 
fly over here. Trash can can live on the back of it. And then if we go here, side config, gases, the cyan one is the one that we want going at the back, right? So you, and now this should be completely empty. Already condensing traders working, sodium is appearing in here. And we are making serious amounts. Um, we could probably actually like totally just make more of these machines, space this out a bit more, make like multiple of these. Cause um, we're making 76 millibuckets a tick. Currently 77 millibuckets. This is just gonna continue to climb until it gets to max, te max temperature. Um, we've already got 120, uh, 120 buckets worth of water inside of this thing as well. Um, so we're making lots of stuff. But sodium's being made. Uh, this machine also needs power. I forgot about that. So we need another node. Laser node goes there. Downside energy. And then we need to connect this up to the system. And then we should see this refinery making molten plexiglass. How nice is that? And then what we can do now, since we have all that set up, um, we're going to make a bunch of seared basins, I think is going to be how we want to do this. I want to make these ones. Can I make 10 of them? 10 of them sounds like a nice, nice round number. Um, how many nodes do I have left? Two. Let's make up some more nodes. What? Out. Do I really not teach it how to make nodes, but I taught, taught it how to make everything else in laser eye? Come on now. Come on now. Node. We use these things all the time. How did I not teach her how to make them? Ah, uh, we want eight of them. And this should be real quick. Bang, eight. Nice. Oh, that is so, so good to have. Oh, did I actually want to do nodes? Probably didn't, to be honest with you, actually. This, because uh, okay, I have pipes, we can probably just pipe it all around now that I think of it. Um, because what I can do here now is go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We still have access to all of this junk. And then with these pipes, I can go... Oh, I can really just run it in the back of it. Hey, that works. And then as these get emptied, right, they're going to get filled back up with plexiglass. You feel? Okay, now these, these pipes aren't good. I thought it would fill them in like one at a time, but not the way that it's working. Okay, we actually don't want this to work how it, how it is then. That's the case. I actually want to get rid of these. Or did not mean to do that. Uh, build and gadget. Let's fill in this mistake that I made. Let's just fill up this this gaping hole in the ground. All right, we actually do want to use laser nodes for this then. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go one there and then one on top of every single one of these ones. Not really, I need one more. You're joking. Well, that's okay, because I need more fluid cards anyway then, if that's going to be the case. Yeah. I'm going to need... Let's just make 16 fluid cards. Let's just make a bunch of them. It's, it's not going to hurt. We have resources. If you want six, and then we need another node, one more of you will do. Laser nodes went really quickly. 
Um, I'm going to set you to auto insert and then I can just shift or click all of these into my inventory. Beautiful. Sleep again. Oh, we're sleeping a lot this episode. I just want to get this done. Once this is done, we're going to be making like buku box worth of plexiglass. Look at that. I've got 25 already. The sodium production is way faster than what it was before. And then these machines can also get speed upgrades and energy upgrades, which they don't current. Oh no, they do have a more in there already. Uh, the electrolytic left separator doesn't have them in there, but it definitely should, because that'll make this process even faster. Now, how are you going? Did you go through all of that stuff already? Um, okay, we're at a creosote. All right, more, just lots of um, little, what's the word? Um, the word is escaping me right now. What's it called? Funnels, not funnels. Something to do with funnels, extract. Um, and then you are going to extract. How many does it take to make one of these? 360. You are going to extract 360 every second. It's not going to be the fastest thing in the world. And then we're just going to have fluid insert cards on the downside of all of these. you're on the wrong side. Thought insert, down, insert, down, down. Cool, and then on this one, we want the west side. We're gonna go exact mode, and then round robin on true. And then once that's done, we gotta connect you to that one, and then these can connect to each other. And every time now, it should be inputting just enough into every single one of these to make one block of plexiglass. Um, except these ones are going to be broken since they already had some in there, I think. There you go. Bang. Now, every single one block of these is worth four sheets of plexiglass so we should actually have increased our production rate here quite significantly so the other the thing that we need to do is to make the sodium side better because right now it is currently pretty slow is um just throw some speed and energy cards into this thing so let's go craft those up and i think that's probably a much better spot to leave it for today um upgrade Go eight, whoop, not 87, eight. And eight of you. And these are crafting up nice and quick, which makes me very happy. And then this thing can just go bonk and bonk. Now these, the issue with this stuff now is going to be providing enough electricity because this one here is only pulling out a thousand a tick, um, which as we can plainly see, there's not nearly enough power to keep this whole setup um, working. I got to check their fluid, our, our cell down this, like in the basement to make sure we're not absolutely murdering our power needs because uh, there's a good chance we are. We are losing power quite rapidly. Uh, quite rapidly, actually. So that's probably going to be the next headache we have to solve. I think. Um, yeah, that's using a ton of power. But I'm going to make that issue worse um, right now as well by grabbing four of these. 
because I at least want the machines to run at full power, at least close to full power. This is an OP setup, but it could be even more op -er. Yeah, 100,000 a tick. That's how much it's extracting. Wow, it is chewing through brine. You, uh, okay, we have, I think we've hit our limit. I think the biggest issue is that we can't actually get enough water into the system because one aqueous accumulator isn't fast enough. But you know what, I'm okay with that because we're nearly full up on liquid sodium. And that is essentially free liquid sodium as well, which is kind of bonkers if you ask me. You know what, we can probably make this entire setup like not require anything because honey bottles really aren't that difficult to make. Now that I think of it. Nah, okay. But regardless, we have a ton more of this stuff now. Um, which is a significant amount more than what we had. And we can make it all really easy. Now it's just a matter of figuring out how to... um. Uh, we just got to sawmill it down, which again isn't that hard because it's just got to make a sawmill. Mm. Okay, be careful placing it as well. Um, but once we have a sawmill place, that's fine. Uh, creosote oil is going to be something that we need to figure out then if that's the case and feeding it into here. But that's fine because we can feed it in through here with this thing. Uh, but you're empty anyway. That goes there. I guess we could just have a, py a pyrolytic thing here, making that, making coke, and then just importing that back into the system, and then we can burn the coke for power. Does that sound like an idea? I think that sounds like an idea. Uh, but I think that's more so a problem for another day. We have a ton of plexiglass now. You know what? Um... Uh, no, we've run out of time. Never mind. I was going to make a sawmill and sawmill all this stuff up, but we can pretty much say that each one of these, actually, each one of you consists of four sheets of plexiglass. Um, so we can also then sawmill this down inside of a precision sawmill for mechanism. We can make this really easily. Uh, we can then automate it and make it downstairs in a... Um, with a pattern thing for it, and then we can have absolute tons of plexiglass to then make solar panels. That's a win. That's a win and a half. I'm quite content with that. All right, anyways, um, if anyone is still watching, thank you for watching. Uh, make sure you like the video if you like to subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you all on the next one. Peace.